be tuned in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel as we take on a ride through the most trending news around the globe. At number 10, Nonso Amadi releases new single. Singing sensation Nonso Amadi has returned with a new exciting single titled Lock Up. Nonso Amadi features street pop sensations in Oliski for a smooth blend that warms up listeners ahead of his upcoming debut album. The single that was released on March 24, 2023 is produced by Nonso Amadi and Pete Prime. Lock Up is shared as the fifth track released ahead of When It's Blue. Cristiano Ronaldo's message to Badi Al Mutawa. Portugal captain Cristiano Ronaldo has sent a heartfelt message to Kuwait legend Badi Al Mutawa after surpassing his tally for most appearances in the history of international football. Ronaldo was tied with Al Mutawa with 196 appearances on the international stage before Portugal's clash against Liechtenstein in the UEFA Euro 2024 qualification match. After the match, Al Mutawa shared a message with Ronaldo that read, and I quote, I'm very honored to represent my country 196 international matches. I'm glad that the record will now be passed on to Cristiano Ronaldo. You are truly a legend and an idol to every football player. I wish you best of luck and many more amazing achievements. Responding, Ronaldo wrote on Twitter, Thank you for your kind words at Bada underscore Almatar. It's an honor to become the most capped men's player. All the best for you too. At number 8, Saidi Balogun and Faithia Williams stirs reactions. Nollywood actor Saidi Balogun and his former wife Faithia Williams have made headlines after reuniting at a recent birthday party. The pair who were once a married couple had an emotional reunion at a celebration held in Lagos over the weekend. In a video that has gone viral on social media, Saidi and Faithia were seen exchanging hugs and pleasantries as they caught up on old times. The reunion was a pleasant surprise for fans and well wishers who had not seen the ex couple together for quite some time. At number 7, Black China speaks on health complications. American model and social Socialite Angela Renee White, popularly known as Black China, reveals she suffered crazy health complications including swellings and fever after getting breast implants and silicone filler injections. The 34-year-old reality star who is now going by her birth name, Angela White, has been making headlines in recent weeks after revealing her decision to remove a silicone filler and breast implants, as well as dissolving the facial fillers after secretly dealing with complications for years. The ex fiance of Rob Kardashian explained that she was grateful to God that she didn't have to go through the worst health complications that would have left her really sick. I'm doing it for myself. Self, but then like encouraging other people that's even thinking about it. I wanted to reverse it. So I was like, let me take this out and get back to myself. Everybody's been really, really supportive. Like even when I posted, I didn't think that it was going to be so massive. Like I posted, it was like maybe 3.30 in the morning and I'm like, just try, I'm healing for my surgery. And I'm like, let me just post these. And I went to sleep and I woke up and it was like, Phew. like, but in a positive way. And then when I saw that, I'm like, this makes me want to even be more open and vulnerable like with the people so they can see. So that's when I documented like me dissolving my face fillers and the lips. At number 6, Peggy Ovire, a popular Hollywood actress and wife of actor Frederick Leonard, finally speaks up amid claims and speculations about expecting the first child during an Instagram live session. The script interpreter who chatted with her fans for over an hour got certain queries which she addressed accordingly. Reading aloud some remarks from netizens, Peggy Ovire voiced out a comment from a fan who congratulated her over her incoming baby. In reaction, Peggy Ovire urged fans to stop making insinuations. At number 5, Messi Aibe on being a Muslim wife during Ramadan. Popular Hollywood actress Messi Aibe laments over the struggles of being a Muslim wife during Ramadan season. Sharing a photo of her asleep during prayers, Messi Aibe reveals that waking up for sari isn't easy. To prevent a misinterpretation, Messi Aibe stated that she is coping better with fasting. However, she is still struggling waking up to eat early morning as sleep always feels sleepy. Messi Aibe stabbed her husband Kazim Adeoti for sharing the photo online. Addressing those who say her husband is calm, she questioned if they can see what he did to her by humiliating her on social media. At number 4, Oladi Bodia dies at 79. The family of Aladi Bordia, the late former chief of staff to the late general, General Sani Abacha, confirmed the death of their father at age 79. A short statement from Barrister Prince Oye Simil Oladia announced the passing on to glory of their father, grandfather, and brother, Lieutenant General Donaldson Oladi Oyinka Dia, retired. On behalf of the family, said that the family regrets the death of the general. Oye Simil Oladia said Dia died on March 26 and asked Nigerians to remember the family in their individual and collective prayers. At number 3, the legacy government has finally completed plans to charge Christian school, some staff members, and Vendor to court over the death of a student with Nia Adeniro. Adeniro was reported to have died at Agege Stadium on February 9, 2023, during Christian's Interhouse Sports Competition. The deceased father, Michael Adeyemi Adeniro, said their daughter had no health condition or sickness as of the time the school was picked her up for the event. The school would be charged for manslaughter, negligence, and recklessness. At number 2, Desmond Elliott says he is willing to work with Olumide Owuru. Nollywood actor and Lagos lawmaker Desmond Elliott has stated his willingness to 
to work with Olumide Owaru. Recall Owaru had challenged Elliot, who was recently re-elected to represent Surulere Constituency 1 at the Lagos State Assembly in the last state governor and assembly elections. After his declaration as the winner of the election, Desmond Elliot expressed his willingness to work with Owaru and other political candidates, saying he's open to working with them. At the same time, they all share ideas on how to move the constituency forward. At number 1, David O announces shows for Timeless. Nigerian music megastar David O has announced three shows set to hold in Nigeria, the United Kingdom and the United States for his upcoming album Timeless. The show tagged A Timeless Night with David O is set to kick off in New York on April 2, 2023 at the Irving Plaza. The second show will take place in London on April 5, 2023 at Coco and the third and final show will hold in Lagos on April 23rd at the Tafar Baleo Square. The performance will be David O's first since he performed at the closing ceremony of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. That is a wrap of today's edition of Daily Top 10. For more updates, kindly follow us on all our social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.